well then, welcome to my desktop. I'm sorry it looks like this. It's a 43 inch um, ultra wide screen, so to fit the whole desktop in, that's the way I have to have it. Anyway, this is a quick video. Um, I've recently bought a Mac M1 Mini, I say recently. I bought it when they first released. And um, I think a lot of other people, you've seen a lot of other videos with a lot of people who have um, lots of frustrations around Bluetooth and Bluetooth um, connectivity dropout. So I'm just gonna open my Bluetooth menu here at the top right hand side. And you'll notice my Bluetooth menu, I've just got them called generic names. And that's because that's how they should be recognized by. Obviously you can rename stuff in the Bluetooth menu. Just um, what I would suggest is that you want them in the standard format names that what they should be named and I, then haven't had any connectivity issues, so I can't. Um, I can only speak for myself. I can't speak for for anybody else. So I'm going to show you how you do that, and it's um, it's quite simple. So just as a backup, you don't need to do this, but just as a backup, I've got an MX um, Master Pro with a Bluetooth dongle, USB C, um, USB three plugged in um, into my Mac Mini um, as a as a just in case plan anyway. But um, but yeah, the way we're gonna do, we're gonna close this Bluetooth menu down and then we're gonna go shift option Bluetooth. Menu. Um, and it tells you all about the Bluetooth devices that you've got selected. Some of it is gonna be blurred out because it's Mac addresses and not gonna display those. Um, up here, we have um, reset the Bluetooth module. If you reset the Bluetooth module, that will disconnect all of your Bluetooth, reset the Bluetooth module, and then reconnect automatically um, your Bluetooth devices. So you don't need an external Bluetooth device plugged in via a dongle, it will just reconnect automatically. So that's one thing that you could do, but if all of your devices are named as they should be, your name, i.e., and then um, whatever Bluetooth device it is, then they will retain that name as well. So that's one way that you could try and see if that works for you. I would generally say that that's not necessarily gonna work for you. So you want to factory reset all the connected Apple devices. So when you click factory reset all the Apple connected devices, you get this little pop-up. Um, are you sure you want to continue? Now, before you click OK, make sure you've got a cable with a USB-C and You know, the power charger for iPhone 11 and downwards. That power cable as well. There it is, that one. So USB-C to plug into the back of your Mac Mini and that power cable in order to reconnect your Bluetooth devices. If you haven't got that, you're not going to be able to reconnect your Bluetooth devices. So don't press OK unless you've got that. So what this will then do, it will reset your Bluetooth, de Bluetooth devices and nothing will be connected. The way you then reconnect them is the way you then would reconnect them when you buy them from brand new. You just turn them on or turn them off, turn them on, plug it in and it'll immediately pop up. I'm actually going to do it and I'm going to show you now. So I just clicked OK. And now I'm actually moving my mouse and my cursor is not moving on my screen. So what I'm going to need to do, I can't open my Bluetooth menu. I can't do anything because I've got no Bluetooth devices. Hence, I have the MX Master backup just in case this should go wrong. And then I've still got my devices. So, and again, for demonstration purposes, I just want to show you this. So now in my Bluetooth menu, I've not got anything connected apart from my AirPods Pro, my MX Master. It's all grayed out. It's not turned on. So obviously you turn them on there and a, um, a Bluetooth speaker. So I'm gonna leave that menu there and then I'm gonna grab my um, Magic Mouse first. I'm gonna turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, and then I'm gonna plug it in. And right away, as soon as I plug it in, I get my Magic Mouse, I get this notification. Let me just move off here. I get this notification pop up, but I also get Magic Mouse here. Obviously it's not gonna be connected via Bluetooth because it's plugged in. But remember, I've turned it on, turned it off, so it's currently sat in the on state. Unplug it from the cable, and I get um, the Magic Mouse connected. Likewise with a keyboard, I'm going to... Keyboard. I'm gonna turn it off. 
plug it in. So this is the suggested way, right? Then turn it on. And then I get the pop-ups with the magic keyboard connected. Disconnect. I get the connected Bluetooth on the screen. And then I go trackpad, turn it off, plug it in, turn it on. And there we go, trackpad, disconnect it, get the trackpad connected um, immediately as well. So, and these are then just um, in the generic name form. If I want to change the name of these, I wouldn't suggest this, but if you want to change the name of these, go to the Bluetooth menu um, and then highlight and right click if you've got that activated on your mouse or control, highlight, control and click and then you just click rename and rename whatever you want that to be there. But I just think that's the name it should be. So, this so thanks a lot for watching. Um, I hope this helps you out and I hope it, you don't get connectivity issues. It seemed to work for me. So um, I hope it works for you. Take care. Catch you soon.